Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, I'm gonna be taking you through the newest edition in our Vintage Keys series, Electronic 25. Electronic 25 is based off of the EM25, which is a polyphonic synthesizer, which has a strong focus on strings, organ, and brass with a rare and historic sound. This library offers a rare glimpse at sought-after Soviet-era synthesizers with a rich string sound that can enhance any composition. For this library, we recorded it in a few different ways. We did a line-out version as well as a mic and wide stereo, so you have a couple different options if you want to have that more direct sound or that mic sound that comes straight from the synthesizer, as well as an NKI for some different ambiences and a folder for custom effects presets. So without further ado, let's dive in and start checking out some of the sounds within Electronic 25. So like I mentioned previously in the intro, there's three different NKIs. There's a line, mic, and an NKI for ambiences. So right now I have the line NKI loaded and this is just recorded straight out of the synthesizer. So let's go ahead and play through some of the different sustain staccatos and effects pads that come with Electronic 25. And then if you want to navigate through the different sustains and staccatos, you can either click in this area right here where you see the category drop down, or you can just cycle through with these arrows to the left and right. So you can just sort of play through. And this library also comes with some other sound design and sound shaping controls as well. So if you want to add a little bit of vibrato, something that's kind of fun to do is you can learn your mod wheel to vibrato. So that way, whenever you're, if you're playing certain melodies and you want to just add a little bit of vibrato in there, you can just. You can also add some octave so if you want to beef up the sound it adds an octave above and below so you can really thicken up the sound and then you'll see if you go up to the top you'll find the advanced tab which has lfo filtering and arpeggiation options so if let's say you want to just kind of like add some different filtering and LFO stuff, you just go ahead and enable this up here. And then you can play around with the different shapes. So there's a lot of uh, really cool options you can do. Um, let's just go ahead and play around through some sounds. Let's uh, try a different sustain. So you can get that kind of hard cut off like dance vibe. So if you have this locked, you can lock it to the beat and make it a little bit more accurate.
And then you can change the target to be volume, bass, treble, pitch, pan, resonance, and frequency. So let's play around with some of those. Or uh, pan. So if you crank this up, you can get some really intense kind of back and forth. Or you can also learn this to your mod wheels. So if you want to just uh, affect that stuff after the fact. So maybe if uh, if you're scoring or writing some type of music and you want it to get really intense and start to sort of throw the, the listener off, you can do that kind of thing. some octave to really thicken up the sound. And then you can also go into the effects rack and we can add some reverb. Or we can add some flange. So we can get some really crazy effects going on. some delay All right, so before we get into the ambiences in KI, I thought we would take a look at the mic in KI as well so you can hear how this sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the arpeggiator and just hold a chord and just cycle through some different sustains so you can hear how they sound. All right, so now let's go ahead and check out some of the different ambiences that come with Electronic 25. And then you can also add some glide as well. If you go down to the bottom left, you'll see there's this glide knob. So you can add these kind of...
All right, so last but not least, let's go ahead and check out some of the custom effects presets that come with Electronic 25. There's 20 to choose from, just in various different styles, to allow you to just be able to start creating quickly and get inspiration, and also showing you all the different functionality of the library and how you can use it, modify it, and make them your own. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so that about wraps it up for this walkthrough of Electronic 25. If you want to learn more about this library or any other products within the Vintage Key series, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.